Hi, boys and girls. I'm outside on a beautiful, beautiful day that God has blessed us with to do our letter H. H stands for Hallowed Heavenly Father. Hallowed Heavenly Father. And the reason I put this on a hand, it's also because hand starts with H, but because when we hallow something, we consider it very special, holy. Um, when Abraham Lincoln did his speech about the soldiers who died in the Civil War at the Battle of Gettysburg, he talked about the ground being hallowed because there were so many bodies that were buried there from that battle. And it was a sacred or holy place. So holy is a synonym for the word hallowed. It means lifted up, set apart from anything that we can fathom, sacred, awed, respected and where we hear this uh, word um, from Jesus is when his disciples ask him Lord teach us to pray and Jesus taught them to pray using the Lord's Prayer it's called that's what we call it that's not what he called it but that's what we call it and we're gonna go through the Lord's Prayer and I'm gonna have a little uh, object to help you remember each part of the Lord's Prayer, okay? It starts, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. So think of, think of royalty, okay? Think of royalty, how we hold them in honor, how we hold them up. Hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your kingdom come, again, kingdom, but the kingdom we're talking about is God's church, us, his family. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth, on earth as it is in heaven. See the beautiful sky? Give us this day our daily bread. So help us not to worry about what we're gonna have tomorrow or the next day. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. Forgive us. Help us to have a heart as we forgive those who trespass or sin. Another word for trespass is sin against us lead us not into temptation so help our hearts to not be led into temptation but deliver us from the evil one and how do we be delivered from the evil one like jesus did we use the word of god for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever amen there's the jewels of the kingdom Okay, that is a prayer that honors God. So when you hallow somebody, you honor them, you hold them in high, high, highest awe and respect and remember that they are, that he is, not they. We can honor people, but we're talking about God. Um, respect him and honor him as our Heavenly Father. Okay? I'm going to have a little friend here help us sing today. So, this is Emmy. Hi! And she's going to help us sing some songs today. I love to sing. I love to sing, Miss Sharon. Oh, good. Good. I'm glad. Okay, let's sing um, some of the songs that we've learned with our alphabet, okay? Okay! How about we start with G? God 
God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. He's so good to me. God answers prayers. God answers prayers. God answers prayers. He's so good to me. That's what you just talked about, right? God and praying to him as our hallowed heavenly father. Let's sing. You're a good, good father. Sorry about that. Uh, the phone rang. I had to go answer it. Okay, let's sing. You're a good, good father. It's who you are. It's who you are. It's who you are. And I'm loved by you. It's who I am. It's who I am. It's who I am. You're a good, good father. He's a faithful father, right? Mm -hmm, hmm. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me think of another song. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, early in the morning our song shall rise to thee. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty. eternally Whew. that was a harder one how about God is our deliverer 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 God is our deliverer he sets us free Okay, I gotta go now. Bye! Hallowed Heavenly Father. Another thing that we can think about when we think about him being a hallowed Heavenly Father is looking at the Ten Commandments in the Old Testament and what God said about uh, how we are to be with him. Let me read to you the first three verses of um, Exodus chapter 20 and then I'm going to skip over to verse 5 I think it is I'm the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt out of the land of bondage and the house of slavery you shall have no other gods before me that's a way to hallow our Heavenly Father you shall not make for yourself a carved image of any likeness of anything in heaven above or the earth beneath. You shall not bow down to them or worship them. I am the Lord your God. Okay, let me turn my page here. This is verse 7. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. For the Lord will not hold him guiltless who takes his name in vain. What does that mean? That's a way to hallow God is not to use his name in a way that's just slang or even cursing um, or you don't even think about it. You just say, oh, and you say his name and you're not really even thinking about it. The only time that we should be, or not the only time, but always when we are thinking of God, it should be to hold up his name and hallow him and, and be praising him and thanking him. 
So we don't want to take his name in vain or not thinking about it seriously like we should think about it. And that's another reason I put the uh, hallowed Heavenly Father on a hand is because think about raising, lifting our hands to him and saying, you are so wonderful, God, and we hallow you and we praise your wonderful and awesome name. Have a great day. Next time, I and Jay.